get a smaller driveway. This is bullshit. Now, where'd you park? Outside the gate? Jeez. Yeah, dude. Just cruise around. Let yourself in. All right. Don't play with the ball. Get the ball. There. Who's that? Oh. What's up, buddy? How you What's doing, up, dude? How you doing, brother? Just wanted to come see your dogs, dude. Yeah. I'm getting a little baby. No way. Really? Yeah. A little pit bull. Yeah, cool. but you're traveling nonstop. I mean, how you gonna... How... My brother's there. I mean, I got... I got people that can look after him. I know, you can get, use one of your girlfriends to look after him. I know how that is, you gotta just get out of here. You know, I'm ready at this point in my life to have something that I can take care of. And obviously not gonna be a kid, so why not a little puppy? Look at this champion. Wow, he is really beautiful. He's yeah. such a sick dog. Look at that little guy. Like, I just, my house needs a dog. It's important just to give it a lot of attention and love. That's all they want. And the ball. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, I thought he was gonna take me out. Oh my god. Um, we missed you the other night at Hyde, bro. I know, but it's like I was not in the mood to like be at Hyde. I wasn't like, hey, let me just, you know, come out of the fire situation and go right to a nightclub and go party. Yeah, it was nuts, dude. And then Ashley shows up and I'm all like just giving her 100% of my attention. I mean, dude, she was just firing me up. Look, I really like her, dude. I really like her. That's. I think she's cool. I like her, too. Are you inviting her to your Thanksgiving? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think I'm even having a Thanksgiving. Bro. Come on. Come to my house. This year is going to be very mellow. It's just going to be like my brother and my at, mom. At Linda's house? Yeah, at Linda's house. Oh. Every year we have it. Dude, yeah. you're more than welcome. Oh, dude, I'd love that. Hell I'd yeah. love for you to come. That's sick. Oh, dude, so I get a call from Frankie Delgado. Brendan! You'll never guess what happened. He said things got crazy with you and Stephanie at some house party. Dude, what happened with that? I don't know. Honestly, bro, as you know, I was in Melbourne for the past week doing the fire shit. So I was just, you know, it was a lot to take in. I was decompressing. And we went to one of my good friend's houses. We were having fun. And uh, Stephanie just showed up. Stephanie's probably the last person I wanted to see. Frankie and Audrina and I went to dinner a few days ago. And Audrina told Stephanie, basically, was just like, can we stop talking about the fires? Can we just, like, party in Vegas and have fun and not worry about it? Las Vegas was awful. Stephanie acted like a psycho. She was so insensitive. She didn't care about you or the fires. Dude, I was fighting the fire by myself. I thought I was going to die. I swear to God, I thought I was going to die. We were all concerned about you and Caitlin, and she just wanted to party and drink. She kind of got me all fired up about it, and, like, the way, you know, she said it to me, it, it, it upset me a lot. She just she just pushed your pushed your buttons. Well, no, it. Stephanie's in Las Vegas, you know, talking shit. You know, and here I am fighting for my house, fighting for my friends' houses, and I hear that Stephanie's off in Las Vegas, just caring about partying and drinking and hanging out. You know what I mean? Just being very rude and disrespectful. So when I saw Stephanie, I just completely snapped. I'd had a few drinks and I was just. What do you mean I, mean, I went into like though? a like I just got like... into blind fucking rage. I just yelled at her. Was super pissed. I don't even remember what I said to be honest. I was so pissed off at her. I'm not surprised at all that Brody snapped at Stephanie. I think everything affects Brody more than he lets on. Look, between struggles with his dad, situation with Spencer, and the fires, I think he's got way too much on his plate right now for people to be talking shit. I them. definitely overreacted for sure, but I literally just had like post-traumatic stress after what I had just gone through. And then to see Stephanie and have that, like I just snapped. Yo, it's open. Yes. Hey. Hi. Don't be alarmed, I'm baking. What are you making? Well, it's for Thanksgiving, and I said I was going to bring a dessert. Banana bread. Yeah, because it's Heidi's favorite. Yes. I'm going to theirs for Thanksgiving. Oh, cool. Well, I haven't been home for Thanksgiving in like five years. Well, I'm going to want to taste this. Yeah, well, I'm going to make two. Perfect. Do you have tea or anything? Uh, of course bit. I do. I'm British. But don't you think that's so smart since I know Heidi loves banana bread? Yeah. It's and a like shoe I do too, so we can like bond over it. A month ago, I never thought that I'd even step into their house again. Now that I've been invited for Thanksgiving, I'm nervous because I don't want to screw anything up. So are we gonna talk about what happened the other night? That was the craziest experience I've ever Bennett, I've seen Brody mad before, but I've never seen him like that. All I said was, 
Oh my God, Brody, it's so good to see you. You've been like living in the real world with the fires and putting them out. Like, how are you? And he like just went absolutely ballistic. Yeah, I know, I was there. The other night, Steph and I ended up at a mutual friend's house party. Brody was there and he kind of went nuts on Stephanie. He did not physically touch her at all. I was right there, but um, there was a ton of screaming. They were in each other's face. Yeah, it was, it was heavy. I think he came in hot because of what he's going off of what he thinks that you said in Vegas. Is this what tonight's gonna be about? Fires? We've been beating this horse dead. There's nothing that we can do from here. I mean, when you know Brody, Brody's a great guy, and you also know when he gets in that stage, like, there's no, there's just no, you gotta let him be. Like, I don't understand Brody's deal. What's wrong with him? What comes down to is that he thinks you just didn't give a shit about what happened in the Malibu fires. How can you say that I don't care about what's happening to where I grew up? I was completely blindsided. I've never seen anything like it. I've never been a part of anything like it. I was scared to fucking death. <sighs> There's just no excuse. It's gonna come out. You don't get it like that and then have it just fucking be swept under the rug. So you know it's gonna get to everybody and then the story's just gonna levitate. <sighs> this is, this is not good.